muted. Let's see here. Hmm. Do we still no sound? Thanks, Scott. Let me see what's going on. Mm. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to see what's going on. All right, how about now, y'all? Do we have any sound? Can y'all hear? Can y'all hear me or we still have no sound? Can y'all hear me or we have no sound, y'all? Okay, you can hear me? All right, thank you, D-Rup. All right, sorry about that little difficulty. So how's everybody doing tonight? My man Juggernaut is in the house. How you doing tonight, Jug? John Rodriguez, rich little pool boy. How you doing, man? Haven't talked to you in a second. TM Watt, how are you doing tonight? Mesquite Turner, there is sound now. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. Let, thank you for letting me know. What's up, Silos? How's everybody doing? So tonight, um, we're just gonna have a try to have like an open conversation to see what everybody's uh, up to. Um, maybe go over a couple things when uh, Bo get in. Uh, maybe we can show you guys a couple things of what we like to do and uh, to help us do uh, our little streaming and what we do on our fire sticks and what have you. What's what's easy for us because. Uh, with all of us here in DST, there's so many ideas that we run across each other. Everything that we do, we try to help each other out and figure out what's the best for us. We may not all do the same thing as far as like maybe programming or how we sell ourselves, but we throw out our ideas to each other and bounce off and, and it really works. Um, what, what maybe a couple of questions y'all have tonight to see uh, what y'all like to uh, talk about tonight. What's up, K Buck? K Buck One, how are you doing? Thank you for coming in. Let's see what else is going on here in the chat. Okay, so everybody's up here in here greeting each other. That's good. Let's see, how are you doing, see, uh, Silverback? Oh, Team Viewer. Yeah, we're going to see if we can do Team Viewer tonight. I'm going to Team Viewer. Um, because TeamViewer has a couple codes that that's that's unique to everybody's um, own TeamViewer, I'm not sure if we'll be able to do an actual live, but I think we can still go over it and talk about it and um, uh, see how everybody feels with it. Because it is pretty easy to use, especially if you have like uh, customers around where you live, uh, especially in different parts of the city where you always may not have to rush out to their homes and, and help them out. TeamViewer is a good tool to use um, by putting what is called quick support on their um, device, like a fire stick. Um, it doesn't always work on all boxes, but the fire devices, it will work. And basically it's like a, they have quick support on theirs. You have TeamViewer on your, eye, on your device or your phone. I got like to use it for my phone. And I can ask them to click on their, on their device and give me a code that's there. And I can actually click into the device and help them fix everything from there. So it, it is pretty easy. It's just what you depend on what you like to use and what's easiest for you. 
Let's see here. What's up, Jason G? Thank you for coming through. JJ Core Gutters, how you doing tonight? And there's my, there's my man Bo. How you doing tonight, sir? Let's see. D Ruff, Anthony, Anthony Ruck, Rugger Tech Phillips. How are you doing this evening? Michael Forte. Hello, sir. I see Jason G has come in. Thank you for coming in, sir. Let's see. What's going on, Bo? What's going on? I'm trying to figure out why I don't I have. Okay, wait a minute. Because I can't see the chat. Let's see. Uh, good day today, Anthony. ESPN. What's up, Chief? How are you doing tonight? Thank you for coming in. Let's see here. Just giving uh, Bo a chance to get um, his everything set up on his side because I know he wanted to greet everybody that's coming in. So we're going to give him a chance to do that as well. I'm trying to figure out why can't I find you? You can't. Uh, I can't find you, which is weird. Give me a second. Okay, no problem. Um, Let's see. What, uh, LJ, you said you need a link. But it should be in uh, an our side chat. Let me check again for you. Let's see here. Um, give me a second, child. Um, but that's weird that I can't find you. You should be right on. It should be showing me that you lie. And it's not showing me that you even lie. Oh, really? Yeah, it's not showing me that you lie. Um, and our, let's see here. And um, in our chat, if in, uh, see if you can use this one in our chat. Scroll up to where uh, the information where um, the uh, real put in, <clears throat> and um, you should click on that link. See if it'll bring you in with us. Mm. <laughs> Pickpocket, you change your name to Hustle Part Two. <laughs> That's what's up. It's still not coming up for you? No, I got it. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm going to hit that like button. Man, that's weird. I'm subscribed to you and everything. That's why I'm like, why is, why is it not showing? That's that's like super weird to me. What's up, Jason G? What's up, Queen? Uh, what's up, LJ? Okay, he got it, LJ. Okay. C-Lo's, K-Buck, Pickpocket, ESPN. What's good? <laughs> John Rodriguez was good. Hippie girl Anthony was good. D Rock. What's up, Rich? Little poor boy. Hello, uh, Miguel. How are you doing tonight? Did you enjoy your birthday? What's up, Miss Gill? You actually did she enjoy her birthday? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> What's up, Mario Forte? What's up, Big Ten? What's up, Drew? Make sure I'm not missing nobody. What's up, Dave James? Scott, what's good with you? Silver Bat, what's good? He said, Bo, turn it down. Come on, man. Y'all know, turn what down? I'm loud? You ain't loud to me. I'm uh, just trying to turn up a little bit. Uh, I thought you were going to do that other thing. What's up, Bo? You coming super loud. Wait a minute. I'm, I am? I'm loud? Let me turn my body down. Wait a minute. My body is turned down. <laughs> And then look, my mic park is up here. This right. thing about bring it down here. Y'all really gonna hear me. What's going on, Big T? All right, I'm still out. Okay. I think I'm I like I'm way too loud. I can't tell that you loud. <clears throat> okay, can y'all hear me? Am I am I bold loud? Am I still bold loud and echo? I'm still loud. Wow. I turned my I turned it down. What's going on, Totally Techno? No, not your headset. No, not your headset. What? No, not your headset, Mike. Your mic. Hmm. Uh, it's not plugged in, though. I'm thinking it. 
Bo, 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 Bo. What's up, Lobo? Hey, Troop, check check your chat. Um, I sent you an actual uh, in your chat. Nah, -uh, I'm not using. That's the part that's crazy. I'm not using my Yeti. Check I cut my Yeti off. Trooper, check the chat. You sent me that um, that icon. Okay, can you hear me, Jamie? Yeah, I can hear you real good. Can you hear me? Uh huh. I can hear you. I'm trying to figure out how y'all hear me. Hearing me so loud. Mama, why y'all saying I'm so loud? No, nah, you, you don't. He said he don't have his Yeti on. Yeah, that's not on. See, look. My, oh. <laughs> my Yeti's on. And then my volume is like super low on my um, on my computer. I got it like super low. Mm -hmm. And then look, my head, my mic, I got it. My head, my mic up here. I got it way up here. <clears throat> I got it off of me, and y'all said I'm still loud. Unless it's coming from my um, unless it's coming from my. Wait a minute, hold on, hold on. Let me see. Miss, uh, say something. No, it's coming from my headset. Uh, Miss Janelle says it's, it's good now. I'm good now. Yeah, I see. Eric, uh, who said that? Um, ESPN okay. is better, Bo. It's better now. All right. Um, y'all still got an echo? Y'all still hear an echo from me? I said, oh, there's uh, Scott said you good now. All right. All right. What's up, Miss Keith Turner? What's good? What's up, Juan? What's up, Juan? How you doing tonight? You are good if you do not speak up. You are good if you do not speak up. What? But I'm naturally loud. <laughs> that's the part that's crazy. I'm trying to speak like in my low tone talking to y'all. <laughs> y'all gonna have me talking like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I do want again thanks for everybody coming in, and um, I'm still going through it, just trying to come down to chat to see if I, you know, spoke with everybody. If I haven't, I want to give everybody a good hello. And uh, welcome, welcome you to our show tonight. Um, and just to talk a little bit, we don't want to keep y'all too long. I uh, just want to see what's going on today. If y'all had a good day and see what we can discuss tonight. Forget. Mac ain't sent it, forgot to pass. LOL. Okay, here we go, Bill. Uh, L. Trooper, I'm going to put it in there again. You, matter of fact, go to the, yeah, you might have deleted it. Um, what, what you trying to do? You trying to get Troop in? Yeah, I, see, I'm looking at it here. I did send it. Hold on, Troop. Hold on. Hold on, I got you. Okay. Okay. You gave it to him already? Or you want me? You want me to give it to him? There we go. Um, yeah. Okay, there you go, Troop. All right, he good. Okay. Um, I right, to get back to the good people in the chat. Bo is team viewer free to use. Yes, it is. Yep. Miss Queen, it is it is it is free to use. Mm -hmm. It is free to use. Oh my gosh, you blew my headset off, Bo. You out, man, dude. I don't know what to tell y'all, man. <laughs> Bo. Yeah. Yo, you you blowing everybody's ears up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know what? I'm gonna get off this show. How about that? Oh heck no! <laughs> it's loud. For, it's loud for real. What's up, Patty D? I'm still loud, true. Yeah, you're real loud. Man, what the frill? Bring down your mic. He he does have his mic down. He's having oh, a good time. I know. Yeah. If, if I bring it down here, it's gonna be I'm gonna be louder. You on your laptop or something? Yeah, but my speaker's in. No, I'm not on my laptop. I'm on my desktop. That's weird. Exactly. Y'all talking about I'm loud. And then my Yeti is off. Yeah, it's loud. Now, 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 go, go, go look at a, a, another YouTube channel and speak, and you'll hear yourself how loud you are. All right, hold on. Let me go. I'm gonna go. Hold on. Don't forget to mute yourself. <laughs> 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 Core cutter said my eardrums are ringing. 
<laughs> okay. Now, LJ say you sound all right. While, while Bogan um, is blowing eardrums. <laughs> <laughs> so it means that would have to mean that I'm loud as loud as Bo, wouldn't it? No, oh, you're good. You're clear. You loud and clear. Hello, 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 hello. What up? What up? What up? What up? I don't know. I don't know what to tell y'all. Unless y'all want me to take it off. You want me to take my headset off? Do you, you think it's the headset? I don't know. You want me to take it off? We can try. I mean, I mean you, you don't sound loud to me. I just, I don't, I don't know. Can y'all hear me? How does he sound now? Now he sounds far away. Yeah, he's a little, you far away, a little bit far away. Put on your jetty, man. I have to plug it in, dude. I'm not doing all that, man. <laughs> all right, let me go up here in the chat. Let me see. I think there was some questions that came through. Let's see. Scott Hutch, she said, hey, Hustler, I have a one terabyte digital, but I'm starting Plex. Whenever I plug my four terabyte, I will lose all my stuff on the one terabyte or when I plug it in. Now I don't hear J-Met. Okay. Can you hear me? Can you hear y'all now? Can you hear us? Can y'all hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Uh huh. Y'all can hear me, but now I can't hear y'all. Oh, I really? Can hear me I, I, you, sound, you still sound a little far away. You, you sound better than before. I can hear y'all, though. Uh, hold on. Okay. All right, let me read uh, Scott's question again. Um, I have a one terabyte Western Digital. Yeah, I can't hear y'all, man. Can't hear? No, I can't hear y'all. You can hear us now? Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Just yeah, I don't hear y'all. You don't hear us at all? Hmm. Yo, jump out and jump back in. You heard? Jump out, uh, jump back in. Yeah, I plug my hold on. Mm -hmm. Hold on. All right, say something, Jim. Uh, how's it? How you sound? I can hear you now. All right, I got both of them plugged in now. Y'all okay. can, can hear me? Yeah, I can Am hear I too loud or no? Every have everyone in chat, how how is uh both sounding now? Am I loud? Am I loud still? Now when you start speaking loud, yeah, you loud. <laughs> speaking Dude, I'm, I don't know what to tell you, I'm naturally loud. Oh, you good, so. you good now, you good now. But if you raise your voice, you'll start speaking loud and it sounds distorted. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't know what to tell you. I got me on on J Mac show acting like not me. <laughs> Think I'm like, is Bo sick or something? <laughs> They're gonna be like, why he why he ain't talking right? All right, let's see. Uh, totally techno said it sounds sounds better. Bo name it doesn't show good. in the chat. What you mean you don't show in the chat? But you needed to be in the chat. What need to be? He said my name is not in the chat. Uh, my ears stop bleeding. Patricia, yeah. what's good, Patricia? What's up, Miss Janelle? Just chill, but what's up, Tilly Techno? I'm gonna go back up here in the chat because uh, I don't want yeah. to go Scott's question to go unanswered. See if we can help him. What uh, was his question? He said, "Hey, Hustle TV, I have a one terabyte Western Digital, but I'm starting my Plex. Whenever I plug in my four terabyte, uh, we'll lose all the stuff on the one terabyte drive. Or when I plug it in, it will be okay." 
if, if no, he's wait. Is he saying he's losing information when he plugs it in? I mean, I'm from. He says Hustler TV says I have a one terabyte Western Digital, but I'm starting Plex. Whenever I plug in my four terabyte, will I lose? He asked him, will he lose? Will I lose all my stuff on the one terabyte drive, or will, or when I plug it in, will, will it be okay? Yeah, Scott, you'll be okay. Yeah, you'll be okay. Yeah. Okay, now I understand what's here. You'll be fine. Yeah, you'll be okay. I mean, I got two. Um, I got two Eternals as well. But you can take what you have on there and put it on your, on your four terabyte if you want to. You don't yeah. have to, but you can. Mm -hmm. So if you want to switch that one terabyte and put it onto the four terabyte, you can. So you can free up space on the um, Western Digital just in case you want to use it for something else, mm -hmm. and then fill up the four terabyte and then add something on on back onto that other one. Um, it's up to you right now. Um, I'm putting whatever I want to put on this on the on the one I have, and then once I fill that up, I'm gonna add the next one. Right. So, um, so no, you 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 good, uh, mm -hmm. Scott? You good? And you always um, I don't know, if, maybe I think uh, and Dale show they did mention it. It's always good, like when you have your, let's say you use an external or an internal for your main sources, you always want to have a drive to back that one up. That way, if it goes down, you can just switch to the backup drive where everything's already saved there for you. And that, that because I had to teach myself to do that because I lost some stuff and just learn how to back it up on another drive. Right. It, it, it should have it on there too. Like on mine, it, it asks me if I want to uh, back up the stuff that I have already. And mm -hmm. then uh, I can back it up. So you can back it up. Mm -hmm. What's up, Joe? How are you doing tonight? What's good, Joe? Oh, good, except for my ears are bleeding. <laughs> oh, my goodness, man. Y'all just rub so, it in, y'all. Well, when you are adjusting your volume on your computer, are you just adjusting your speaker volume? Like, are you going into it and going into your mixer, going into your mic levels? No, all I did was what? went into my – all I did was just – I turned my – wait, when y'all said I was loud, all I did was just cut my speaker down. I mean, I That's, cut my okay. – I cut my, I cut my speaker down. I didn't touch my mic or nothing like that when y'all said well, I was That's loud. your speaker level. That has nothing to do with your mic, brother. So that means you're still super loud. You're just not hearing us when you turn down your speaker volume. Yeah, when I could, yeah, when I could turn my speaker down, I, I don't hear y'all. So I got to go into my, yeah, I got to go into my, in, in and change it. My you, what, what Windows are you running? Windows 10? 95. You know? Let's see, what? Windows 95? I'm, I'm, I'm a messenger. I'm, I'm Windows 10, Joe. Okay, so if you go, if you, if you cl right click on, right click on that speaker icon. That's what I'm doing, Joe. Joe, teach speaker to me like I'm. I'm going to teach you real quick, and then you go in, go into your open sound settings. Uh, Mr. Man, you need to get out. I got system sounds, Joe. I don't got open sound. I'm give you some piece of information for our show. So if you go into system sounds, you got to go in there and find your mic, and then your levels, and turn it down. Because it means you're just your. Because if you're this loud in your head and kind of, you're going through your headset and your microphone's up in the air, but in the, but the volume never changed when you put the mic to your mouth. So, because something there, because like seriously, you popped one of my speakers. Yeah, I, I couldn't turn it down and pook, and now it goes. Bzz, bzz, but it's a cheap speaker. Oh, good job! Oh, good job! <laughs> Man. And I, I didn't want to squish you or, or stifle your, because you're so happy, like your voice is, that's what yeah, makes Yeah, because I am. Y'all got me, y'all got me, my, my voice is on eggshells right now. It's like, let me, wait a minute, too late, maybe too late. What? <laughs> I'm trying oh, to go in, I'm much bigger, I'm looking for more. They're like Google, Google Hangouts, it's all, they got all of them on right now. All right, so what's the, oh, hi to everybody that was saying some hi. Uh, what's the show about? What are you talking about today, well, J Mac? Well, we were going to touch, try to touch a little bit of everything. Um, uh, we wanted to answer that question about uh, the, his terabyte and plex. What we was wanted to really try to t talk about is maybe touching on. Um, oh, just maybe forget that quick. Oh, quick support. And if people like quick support, do they know how to use it? Um, does it save you time? Um, earlier, I was just going on a, of a couple things. I, I, was thinking about doing like a screen share for for um, for the quick support. Only thing is, the quick support shows a little code that the person gives you to get back in, and I don't want to show all that to give out like sensitive information like that. Um, 
So I don't want to do the, the screen share like that to just give up information because that's that's too much to give out. Well, but, I, I can't I can't remember because I know like because when you do it, it gives you your partner ID number. Yeah, that's so, yeah, that's what I don't want to give out. It's somebody's ID like that. Yeah, it's um. Yeah, uh, because I can't remember what it takes because you can get you can change that. Mm -hmm. Um. I can't remember if you can actually set it yourself or you do, you tell it to clear it and change it. So if you did show it, but you could also, you know, people who have it and start it up and have it connected and show what it does. But I guess it's, yeah, it's one of those, one of those pain in the boots. <laughs> Look at Bo's face. Did you fart? No, I mean, I'm doing it. I'm trying to figure out my line. You're sounding okay. Yeah, you sound, you sound good. Yeah, but I ain't loud. I'm talking normal. I'm talking y'all talk. <laughs> talk. You're talking good now. You're talking good now. You're talking y'all talk. Y'all yeah. talk. I ain't talking me, my talk. No, you're good now. All right. I, I'll mess with it after the show. Okay. So when I go on tomorrow, I can sound like me. That's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm back. Hey, I'm back. I had to get my earplugs. Yeah, I was burned. Oh, really burnt. <laughs> it did burn right there, Mike. <laughs> so let, let me ask you this. Um, in the chat, um, type in a one if you've used uh, Team uh, Quick Support and Team Viewer, if you like it, um, if you don't like it. Uh, let me, I just want to get a sense on if everybody knows what how to use it or if they like it or not. How you like uh, Team Support, uh, Bo? Huh? How do you like team support? How do I like it? Oh, I, I like it. I don't use it a lot, but I, mm -hmm. I like it. And mm -hmm. I don't use it a lot because I don't I don't have to go in to to go in people's devices to use it like that. So um, which that's a good thing. Because if you don't really gotta go in to change and fix nothing, that's that's a good thing, yeah. But mm -hmm. I'm trying to keep away or, or I try to keep away from me having to go in, but if I have to go in, then I have to go in. So are you, are you more or less like doing customer service face to face, or would you use it to help you save time? Um, most of the people are here anyway. Um, only time I really have to go in is like when I my customers are that are out of town. Um, then of course I have to use it to go in into their devices if there's a major something major going on. But mm -hmm. other than that, I use the um, I usually go to the people here. They're not too far away. So um, I usually go to them, like after this show, I got two appointments I got to go to after this mm -hmm. show. So I'll be going to their home. Um, Scott says, hey, Bo, any new ABKs that are fired? Um, um, no, not, not right now, uh, but I am messing with some stuff, but there's nothing that, 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 that's fire fire. Uh, if it was, I would trust me. I'll bring them out quick, fast, and early. Um, <laughs> hey, Abonos, you made my Alexa say, what the? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, you know, I can't say that word out loud. I have everybody, uh, Miss Lady, talking. Mm -hmm. Um. What's up, Tim Windsor? How are you doing tonight? I do thank okay. you. Okay, y'all, y'all got any any questions? Um, Jayma, you you do do anybody in the chat know how to use Team Viewer? I saw uh, three and Team Support. Put anybody a, know how to use it? Right, I saw I saw three people put it one in. Um, I don't know if it's, if it's better. Maybe do like a one on one where we can talk back and forth. Yeah, it it'll be better to give them a one on one. But mm -hmm. you know what? We we can do that for all you guys that want one on ones, or you guys that want a one on one with Team Viewer. You guys can get with um, J Mac. Put your email in there. Okay. J Mac, gonna put his email in there for everybody that want one on ones. Can get with J Mac and maybe and then I can jump in as well. And then that way we can give you guys. Uh, that way we people won't see you guys ID or your information. Um. Uh, and then that way people won't go in to use it. Well, me, I don't need to use it, but so that way nobody else in the chat have your information. Mm -hmm. um, and then that way you guys can either email J Mac and then J Mac can get with me and I can make sure that I'm in there with them. And then we can do show everybody how to uh, use Team Viewer, how to use the support, how to use the numbers, mm -hmm. um, and then how to go in and actually help somebody. Uh, 
uh, go into their system. Right. Um, so if you guys, if anybody do want that, because we really can't show it, um, show it, then we can do that. And then that way we can actually walk you guys through the steps of how to use it and you still being at home and then the people is wherever they're at. Besides team viewer, besides team viewer, do you guys have any other questions you guys want to want to talk about besides that? I don't think your email is long enough. <laughs> oh, he told he my email. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I thought my email was long. I just went ahead and used that because LJ and Bo always tease me about the key. So why not use it? You should have put keys. <laughs> More keys. I don't want a one on one like that. Um, but I don't go that route. Um, <laughs> I don't know if pickpocket being funny tonight, but I understand. Pickpocket, which route are you trying to go to? Route <laughs> route uh, 66, which route are you going to? <laughs> uh, mine easy. Um, Trooper keys, uh, hot mail, nothing. Troop is burned. <laughs> can you guys, can you guys, guys, just blur it out? Um, mm -hmm. you want? Mm, I don't know. You want to try to see if you can blur it out, Jim? Because I know you have it on. You have the uh, where you can show it and share your share yours, right or no? Um, well, you can't you blur it. You share, share you can, it. You, you can, can only blur it out in post. Yeah. <clears throat> if, it's, if it's live, I ain't gonna better blur it, blur it out. As a matter of fact, I was trying to mess with it at work a little bit earlier. And I couldn't blur it. I should have more or less set up like uh, just some screenshots, but I didn't think about that. Right. And that's the part that, I don't know. And we might have to do it like that and then put it on the Facebook group, like do mm -hmm. it, like try to do step by step, but then blur certain certain stuff out or scratch it out or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we might, and then just put this and where you put the number at. So we might have to do it that way. Right, right. Um, so we might we might try that. We're gonna do whatever we can to try to make sure you guys get an idea of of how to go into somebody else's system. Um, what type of remote do you all use for your Fire TV sticks and Nvidia shields? Um, the, the, well, me, I use the remotes that come with them. Um, uh, everybody, well, and here's the thing, though. To be honest, be honest with y'all, either I use the remotes that come with them or I use a mouse. I love using a mouse for my everything I use. Everybody else love to use. Uh, um, everybody else like using the special remotes and this and that. Uh, I get it because they have the the mouses and stuff on them. But why not go old school and just use a regular mouse? Mm -hmm. That is just for me. I'm not trying to tell you guys don't use those because um, you guys have the keyboard and everything on there, and you can type everything at once. Me, I just use a mouse for everything. So um, that's just me. Uh, Dale used the Q9. Everybody else used uh, different remotes. I, that's just the one I used. Mm -hmm. Now before before I started using the Q9, I was on the if it was on the Fire Stick, I was using that remote. Um, on the or on the boxes I have, I would do like Bo. I was using the mouse all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it was just your personal preference what you like to use. Uh. What you use, uh, Jet? What remote you use? Uh, I use a mini keyboard mouse or a mini keyboard with the trackpad, like the yeah, Wii. So. Most people use those, and then you also can use. Um, and, then, and then you also you also can. Uh, Dell has another one keyboard. It's a bigger keyboard that you can use. Um, I believe what is it called? The a Logitech. It's a Logitech. Mm -hmm. The Logitech keyboard as well. Um, Gil Lewis says, let's talk Plex. Why am I getting duplicates when I download? And do you uh, have to categorize yourself? Uh, I thought Plex automatically did it. Um, it does. Plex, Plex will automatically do it, Ms. Gil. Um, when you're getting duplicates, maybe because you have it in two spot, two different spots. Right. Um, and maybe if you have it in two different spots. But you can go in there. If you have a duplicate, you can go in and delete it, delete the two. You can go in and take one off. Um, if you have two, you can go in and delete it. You know how to delete it, Ms. Gail? Man, why am I getting... 
Yeah, she's getting duplicates. Like, uh, are you are you using your Plex like from a local drive? Are you using a seed box? Um, you using a Plex server with, uh, you know, like you're using any other applications? Like, right. And then LJ is right. They do have a, a video on it. Yeah. On it, but let me see. Do I got my Plex up? I think I got what? one that has. Let me see. I think I got one in there that got two. I got two. Let me see real quick. Well, some like uh, especially when you're looking at your Plex, you got to look how it's being displayed too, because you'll get the recently added and recently mm -hmm. viewed, and then you can get your libraries. So it, it it actually can sit there and look like there's three copies of it. But right, yeah. So just for those who haven't seen it, uh, join me Thursday. We're doing a complete Plex setup, like right from the get go. But it's all do, doing Ultra Seed Box. So if you're not using that, you can. Come and join in and and learn, but yeah, from Ultra mm -hmm. Seedbox setting the Plex up right from scratch until you have it up and running. We're doing yeah. I'm doing that Thursday at five CST time. Let me see if I have one. I think I have one. Um, oh, okay, yeah, I got one right here. There you go. There's, um, I was gonna ask um, LJ or a Trooper. Do y'all remember from um, Dale show yesterday because uh, he did put out a link. That has um, a link that has his uh, Plex videos in it. Uh, good walkthroughs. I, I went and looked at them today, and they're, they're very good. So I'm trying. I can't find it right now. <clears throat> I was going to ask uh, LJ if he has it, if he can put it in the chat, or if you have a troop, you can put it in there for the people to get. Let's see here. What else is going on up in here in the chat? Wait a minute. It's been a minute. I'm trying to look to see how to take the two off. It's been a minute since I did it. What's that? Take the two to take it off to one. Mm. You're just having the best of luck today, Mark. No, I got it. I'm fixing it right now. I'm going to do it right now while I'm talking. That way, if I got another one, I'm not sure how to take it off. All right, Charmaine, let me put another. Um, there's actually an email in the description of this video if y'all want to use that one. Um, I'll type it in here for y'all. Mm, hold on, y'all. I'm trying to see if I can fix it. <laughs> So with everybody doing doing the Plex, that um, to me, Plex is, is very good because like Dale said and what uh, Jug is going to show you all uh, this week, actually, Plex takes the place of you having to worry about if a certain favorite APK that you like works or are they doing something different with the APK, if it's going to be up, if it's going to be down. You have your own favorite content that you can put inside the Plex. It's always a one-click play is very reliable more or less you just updating it as often as you want to put in new things that you want to see or older tv shows or movies so to me plex is good i like it i got family members using it and i'm always getting a call when are you going to add this when are you going to add that so it's, it's very easy to use and i think that between um all of dst and with uh jug watch their videos because they're very detailed and, and it will help you out a lot Okay, all right. I know how to do it now. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Let me share my share my screen real quick. Okay. <clears throat> uh, let me share my screen. I'm gonna show you how, how to delete them. Hello, Lenora. How you doing? I did, thank you for coming in tonight. Uh, let me know when y'all when y'all see me. Shit, I'm sharing my screen. Y'all see me? Yeah. yeah. There we go. See my screen. Uh -huh. Yep. So right here. Right here on go, you see I have two. Is that what you're talking about, Ms. Gill? Let me see. So right here I have two right here. So what you're going to do, guys, is when you go down here on go, what you will do is you'll go here, three lines. You're going to click the three lines. From the three lines, you're going to come down here to get info. So when you get, get info, you'll see that I have two of them. So with me having two of them right here, you have to delete one of the files. 
So when you delete one of the files, it'll take away. Once you delete it, do you want to delete that one? Click yes. It's going to take it down to one. Once you go here, now it's gone. See how it's gone? Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing right here on halfway. You do it again. Get MO. You see that you have two. You got an MP4. You got an M MKV. You got one at 720. I don't know what this one is, but I know this one right here is 720. So I'm going to keep the 720. I'm going to delete this one. Once I delete it, now it's gone. Same thing over here for Harry Potter. You're going to go to info again, get info. I got one that 720. I don't know what this one is, but of course, I'm going to keep the 720. I'm going to delete the file. See how it disappeared. That's how you take away the double files. Of course, I'm going to go back in. I'm going to go back in down here, which will have my shows right here or what I have everything going. I can go on my Seagate, which is right here. What was that? Harry Potter. Which section am I in? Drama. So I'll go into my drama right here. I can open it and make it bigger. I can see if I got two Harry Potters. H, H, G, H. Harry Potter, Goblet, Deathlet, Waters. Okay. All right. And then once you delete it, you should delete it all. So right here, they all not the same. Chambers, definitely. Okay. So once you delete it, you make sure it, it's deleted from here. That make sure you don't have two copies of the same one. Mm -hmm. So, and then again, you can go back up and down and look and see. So right here, he got game. I got two of them. Go ahead and get info. I got two. I got an MKV. I got a 720 right here. 720, they both the same. MKV, delete it. It'll take me down to one, y'all. It's down to one. That's how you fix it. Any other questions while I'm in here? Let me see. Uh, let me see any other questions while I'm in here. Uh, over a thousand movies on Plex. I've only had to rename four movies for them to display correctly. Um, um, hey, well, one knows your opinion. Is the mouse easier to use than the regular remote? And what makes you want to stay with the mouse? Um, me, I use the mouse because, like I said, I, it's easier for me because I can right and left click. The right click is to get into everything. Your left click is going. Your left click is you already knowing to get out. So if you click to your, if I click here, that goes away. I click here, that goes away. So me, it's right and left. Everything is easy. Only time you really gotta, only time really guys when it become hard is when you gotta start typing in. But that's still not hard. When you go to go typing in, all you're doing is going letter by letter and you're just going to what letter you want to use. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's, it's way more easier because you got the mouse. I mean, you got the remote. The remote's going to go up and down. Let me stop sharing. Um, the remote is going to go up and down. For me, the remote's going to go up. You got to go up. You got to go down. You got to left. You got to go to the right to where your mouse. You, all you're doing is just this, just moving it. And you're going up and down to whatever show it is. If you got a wheel, the wheel makes you go, and I got a wheel. You got a wheel. The wheel's going to go up and down yourself. Um, that's why it's easier for me. Uh, uh, the typing part is not an issue for me. Everybody else feel like uh, they want, uh, you know, the Q9, the 400, K. They, they want those because it looks pretty. The light changes all this and that. That's fine. My thing is, within you doing all that, again, as Dale would say, guys, it's your personal preference. But for me, it, my preference is the mouse does everything. Think about it. What the mouse don't do. I can go. Only thing the mouse really doesn't a whole hundred percent do that the, that the remote can do is go straight to home at one time. Mm -hmm. You click home on the, on the remote. It takes you right back home. But on the mouse, the back button is your friend. You hit back and it take you back. Right. You somewhere where you're not supposed to be. You go somewhere you don't want to go. You hit. You just hit the back button. You hit the back on the mouse. It goes back. That makes it easy for me. Johnny Trotter says, uh, FYI, sometimes Plex is getting the movies wrong, so you have to make sure I put the right picture up for it. Yeah, so sometimes, sometimes uh, 
like mine. I got one. I said it's correct. I should go back to. I I can change it. Which I talked to Jay Mac. I'm gonna share my share my screen one more time. So mm -hmm. let me show y'all. I got Incredible Hulk, and I have to change it. So he's right. So if you if I go back into my place, if I go into my classic uh, classic TV shows, if you guys know, if you notice, like right here, everybody think it's, I'm talking about the Incredible Hulk for the cartoon. I'm not. So I would have to change my picture. So and of course you guys know how to change the picture. You got to go in here to change your. You got to go in here to change your picture. Which you'll go here. So if you're trying to change your picture, guys, you'll go here. You come down to poster. When you click poster, you will see all of it right here. But they all only give me cartoons. So I would have to go somewhere else, and then copy it, and then paste it in here, the one that I want, and then bring that picture, and then change that picture. But they give me the Incredible Hulk for the cartoon. So of course I would have to. I, I can't use these. I'd have to change. I'd have to change the poster and put my own poster in here. And then once I put my own poster in here, I come down and click the actual Credible Hulk that I would need. And then you, all you gotta do is go to IDBM. You would go to IDBM to look for Incredible Hulk. Once you get it, you will get it. Copy it, paste it, paste it in here. That's how easy it is. So. Um, I don't think there's no other one in here. Let me see. Is any of my other my other posters don't belong in there? Let me see. Uh, those are right, right. Let me see. Right, 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 right. I was trying to see if it was going to change on me. Um, let me check if they give me the old binder. Even though it's, it's the right one. Let me go. Okay, yeah. They still give me the old. It's the right one for that one. I can change it to here, but they both the same. I can change it. So if I want to change this one, I can change it. You click save changes, and it changes the poster. Uh, they the same. Let me see if there's another one. Let me go with my kids. I think they all the same, guys. Let me see Nemo. Yeah, they the same poster. So finding Nemo, I can change the poster that's on there and I can put that, this one. Save changes, it'll change it. So you can, that's how you change them. Um, the Emoji Movie, let me see if it has it has a poster in there for the Emoji Movie. <laughs> yeah, so in here, where you put right here, enter or drag it, this is where you go in. When you copy from the, wherever you find it at, you'll put it in here. Once you drag and drop it in there, it it didn't show up in here, guys. Once it show up in here, then that's how that's how you get the new poster. So if you guys just wondering like how you do it, you gotta drop it in here. Once you drop it in there, you'll do it. So of course you choose your image. You can choose the image. I can go grab an image in here, so that I would grab it and then get it and then get it and then once I get it, I can then drop it. So, or I can enter a URL. So if I enter the URL where I found the picture at, I will take the URL of that picture, put the URL in there, and then it it just automatically uh, upload. Enter the upload, it upload the URL from that picture. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. So, which as y'all see, some of mine I gotta go in and get the actual picture. So most of the time, it it'll do it. And then right here, you can change it. Like this right here is Rock Dog. You go in, you change this. Let me show you how to change that. You go in, you change it. You just put rock dog, cap, you change it, rock dog. Uh, hold on. Rock dog. <laughs> when you put a rock dog here, you lock it. Go here, you also change it. Rock dog, rock. Dog, you lock it. Once you change it, then down here you click Save Changes. Mm -hmm. Then Rock Dog, you see how it disappeared? It's gonna go where it's supposed to go. That's how you change it when they put the wrong information in there. That's how you change it, guys. Uh, any other questions? Let me make sure nobody asks another question. And there's a couple of questions that went back up in the chat. Um, see if we can answer those questions for them. Um, 
Lobo asks, um, how can I uh, start my own uh, file link and can I copy from your file links? What you happened? You definitely, you can go into um, all of our file links and copy out what you want to create it. Um, it's, it is easy to make. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to let uh, uh, Elton, I'm sorry, Jug elaborate on that because even quiet, but it is it is easy to make because we all, it takes a little bit of time just to get used to, to drop your um, links into your Dropbox and then go from there. But it is easy to make. Uh, I'm not sure if any, if any of the guys or the, the DST has a an actual video on it. Um, matter of fact, Bo did I think it was a couple weeks ago. He did a live show where he actually showed how to drop your um, your uh, links into the file link. Yeah, all you do is um, the very first thing is, is you need the file link uh, application. Um, but to, it's not needed in order to set up your file link, but to, mm -hmm. you need to, uh, you need to, first thing is, uh, find a storage. So either uh, Dropbox, uh, Google drive no longer works. I don't think, I don't think it has a direct, uh, okay. Backtrack. <laughs> first thing that you need is, is you need a storage that allows for hot linking, which means is that you could copy and paste a URL or a link directly to it that if you put it in a browser, it would automatically start downloading. Dropbox by default doesn't do that, but it gives you instructions on how to make it. And all it is is that you change a zero to a one at the end of everything you do. A lot of people mm -hmm. use Dropbox. Um, there's other uh, OneDrive. I don't know if Google Drive does it. Archive.org, um, things like that. But Dropbox is the easiest. And all you do is you set that up, then you... Uh, then you install your file link and, and uh, application. And when you uh, go to your application, um, when you sign up for, for your file link, you, you get a dashboard. And then you, uh, what that is, is that just basically does it all in the background, uh, just, like, just like the Plex is where it sits on a hard drive and you organize it. And then Plex is actually allows you to access it. Well, that's what the file link APK does. You you use Dropbox and you go to file linked uh, uh, online and uh, and then you just with Dropbox if you drop a, a an APK in you name it the way you want it named there's a button that you click share and it'll give you the you know the uh, the link the hot link or whatever that you need and you just copy that and then you go to your file link backend and create a new file and that's all it is it's self explanatory as in where you have to put things. Because it's like put your name here, put your URL to download here, put your icon URL if you have one here, and then save. You know, like in, in for somebody people who if they haven't used file link, it, it may seem again kind of daunting. Um, but uh, I don't know. Has anybody done how to set up a file link? Um, no, not that I know. Of. I don't mm -hmm. think nobody uh, uh. And then for. For how to get movies, and like I said, I use my phone and uh, uh, bad bad ski biz twenty three. I believe that's how what it is. Um, he he says, uh, sorry, shut up, Blake. He says, did you show how to use the app ADM? Um, I got it. I got it from your file link, Bo, but couldn't figure it out. Okay, so the ADM, I can try to show you guys real quick. The ADM, once you get it. Once you get it, uh, let me see. Once you get it, you open it up. It's gonna say Q. It'll say Q. Can y'all see that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It'll say Q, and then it'll say Finish. Um, Q is when you're downloading something, and it's gonna have a plus down here. You see the plus at the bottom. So that plus at the bottom. If you click the that plus at the bottom. It asks you for a name or a link that you have. I don't have to put the link in there. I don't have to put the link down there because I don't have anything I'm using right now. So I'm going to hit the back button and take it back out. Over here, when you click finish, finish to show, like, once it's finished, it'll have everything over there. Um, and me, last night, I did, I did, uh, I did, uh, I did uh, Law and Order last night i downloaded the second and, and third season of law and order so 
Now, if you're trying to figure out where to put it, the three lines, you notice over here on the three lines, can you see that? Can y'all see that? Uh-huh, yeah. Okay, over there on the three lines, when you click on it, it's gonna be over there in your settings. Right there, it'll have on mine where it says uh, folder for file. If you click it, folder for file, you click it, it'll open up, and then you pick, you pick what folder or where you want it to go to. Me, I, I wanted everything to go to my SD card. So I click that when I download something, it's gonna to go to my SD card. So that's how you click it. You're gonna click that on the click it to go to, to SD card. Um, I click okay. Over here, you'll have sim simultaneously uh, download threads. I moved it all the way to the top for it to download at least three. Um, the threads, threads per download, I put nine. Uh, your download speed, I put max speed. Uh, and then my smart download, I has it on. My auto resume is also on. Mm -hmm. uh, my pop up message, I have it on. My vibration, I also have it on. My sound, my icon downloads, and my top windows, they're not on. So, your that's what you need to have from start. Now, say if you now say if you want to download something, I'm gonna go to BTV. And I'm gonna show you guys again how to download something. Or better yet, you know what? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go into my my browser. I said let me go into BTV. I'm gonna show you how to use ADM using the browser. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go into my browser. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go to oh wait. So I'm gonna go in my browser. Let me go back. Let me go back. I'm going to go in my browser and I'm going to use the index of. So you guys can see it. I'm using index of. In my browser. Uh, all right. So look, I got index of. Can you guys see that? Yep. Mm -hmm. So in the index of, if you see TV, I got, I'm in TV shows right now. I got index of, of TV shows. So index of, of TV shows, I'm going to go back again so you guys can actually see like where I got it from. So right here on the top, I put index of, and I put TV shows. So if you guys got your pencil and paper, make yeah, sure you write okay. it down, index of on TV shows. So when I put index of of TV shows, then I went, I scrolled down, you got index of series, you got index of TV shows, you got index of TV shows, I click index of TV shows. When I clicked it, it's gonna. I'm gonna make the screen bigger. If you look at it, when it, when you look at it, it's gonna give me A A through. It's gonna give me A through Z, A through Z, guys, of TV shows. Can y'all see that? Yeah. A through Z of TV shows. When they give me A through Z of TV shows, I'm gonna click L. Cause I was at Law and Order. So when you click it, I'll make it bigger. As you see, I got Law and Order highlighted. I'm going to click Law and Order. Once I click Law and Order, it's giving me 17. It gives me 17 seasons of Law and Order. So if I click Season 1, so if I click Season 1, when I click Season 1, it's going to give me all, it's going to give me all the episodes of Season 1. So which I'm gonna try to do it here so you guys can see what I'm doing. So that season one, that first one, I'm gonna I'm gonna squeeze down on that first episode. So when I squeeze in that first episode, it's gonna ask me what I want to do with it. And then and the question is gonna say open in new tab, open in background, select, save link, or copy link. I'm gonna click copy link. So when I click copy link. If you see it, watch my ADM popped up. Now my op, now my ADM popped up without me having to go to it. Mm -hmm. So now that it's popped up, it's going to tell me right here. It'll tell me right here. It'll tell me what it is. And right here, guys, like right here, when it when it even though it's giving me Law and Order SUV season one, it's giving me season one, uh, episode one. Right there, make sure you look right here on the top where it says uh, name. Make sure that it's correct. If it's not right. If it's not right, you go in and then you type in, you type it in right. Mm -hmm. So if everything is correct, then I'll go down at the bottom 
and I click start. Once I click start, it disappeared. Where did it go? It's up here. It's downloaded. While it's downloaded, I'm going to click it now. Once I click it to go into it, if you look now at my ADM, it's downloading. Mm -hmm. ADM is downloading now. So if you guys look, you'll see that it's downloading. Once it's finished downloading, and it's, it's in the queues. But once it's finished, I, the queue, guys, is going to go over. It's going to go over to finish. If you guys look on the top of my phone, I do not have a VPN on. Right. If you look, if I scroll down, if I scroll down, I do not have my VPN on. So for anybody that's asking me, Bo, do you use a VPN? I don't. But do I have to do it? Do I want if I if I want to use it, I can. And the good here's another thing you guys gotta look at. I'm on my 4G. I'm not even on my Wi-Fi. If you look, I'm on my 4G. I'm not even on my Wi-Fi. So I can actually download this actual episode using my 4G. Mm -hmm. I do not have to use my Wi-Fi. And if I use my Wi-Fi, trust me, it will go a lot faster. Now, if I go on to my Wi-Fi, if I choose, that's why I said it's personal preference. If I choose to cut my VPN on, I, then I can cut my VPN on. Right. So I've done it both ways, using my VPN, not using my VPN. Okay, so J Matt, oh, you you still going, Bo? No, no, no. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. What's up, Jake? I want to uh, I want to take just a couple of minutes to show people something for with uh, with file link for real quick. Okay, all right. All right. For those uh, for those who are just asking about like you know how to get file link or things like that, I'm going to share my screen real quick. Just give me a second. I got to hide these pretty faces that you'll see on there. <laughs> you guys see my uh, desktop? Put it, put it on. Um, put it on Jug, Jimmy. On Jug. Okay. Yeah, just click on me. Can uh, can you guys see my desktop? Yeah. Okay. So the first thing that people do is you go to FileLink.com. Never mind about the download file link yet. That's just the application that you can view file link stores. The first thing you do is you're going to go to Create Code. So when you go into Create Code, oh, I got to hit Create Code. If me, because I've already got an account, but you'd hit sign up. Once you sign up, then you, it'll send you back. You click on the login. And when you log in, my fat fingers, man, I hate my mouse. Is when once you. He <laughs> 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 uh, stayed oh, out too long. Right. Yeah. So there, once you log in, you're going to get to this. And you won't have this because you haven't set it up. So all you do is scroll down here. And like I said, when you create a new configuration, so that means you're going to create a new file link store, what you want to call it. You have a description of it. Um, do you want to activate the custom message so people, you know, who have accessed our file links when you jump on? Hi, this is Juggernauts. Crap, take it all. You want to pin. Now it has it. You can add your logo and you press save. Once you have it saved, when you come back, you'll have a file linked here and it'll say just like mine, Juggernauts list. And then you just start creating, you know, like manage files and things like that. So what I'm going to show just super quick is, is because I have a lot of files. So this is how it shows. So you have all your files and uh, you know when you get the links which I'll show you what I mean when you're creating a new one or editing did you put the name in there here's the URL which we're gonna get from Dropbox because that's what I use and you copy and paste it and normally it would have a zero but you take it on put it to a one so it hot spots uh, and it allows it for it to come in and you put in for you know um, what do you call the URL uh, the Logo URL, and if you have a YouTube video, you uh, can put that link here, and, it'll, and that's what those question marks are for, uh, besides file link if anybody's seen them. So just to do something real quick, I don't want to take up a lot of time on your show. It's like ed I'm going to edit yeah. something. Yeah. So what I do is, is because I, my Dropbox is connected to my, my like my system, um, it shows up here on my Windows 10. There's Dropbox. So here's my logo because I, I, now that it allows you to set logos. So I'm just going to right click and hold and drag it over to logos. And I'm going to copy it here. So then if I go back to my browser, I'm already signed into, into a Dropbox. You can see my icon just showed up. So my icon there, that's where I want to click share, create the link. 
and then you copy the link and we go back to here and we get this stupid and, and locked out okay juggernauts list and i've already had everything set up but i'm going to add my logo so logo is, is the url see the zero uh i don't know if it's one i don't know if it's going to do that i just tried that it may give me an error nope so then if anybody, so then that's that's as easy as it is. And just give me a second, because if anybody uses my file link, and that and you can rewind the video and go back and check that out. Uh, I'm going to do a video on it, and if people want to or something like that, if, uh, if I can find a resource out there. Did I click? Am I off? Stop sharing? Stop sharing. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, just give me a second. I actually went to... File link is giving me all the issues like crazy. Because I went to click on it on my phone, and, and which I use every day, and it asked me if I want to install it. <laughs> and I'm just going to go to mine and then see if I can show it. So, it, and people, uh, I don't know if you can see. I'll try to. Now you can see the logo at the top. Yeah. And that, that's oh, okay. what I just added that quick. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's, it's the same process for files. It's, same, it's the same process as that, uh, like that. So, I mean, uh, it's it's uh, for those people who are interested in that, maybe we can do an, a separate show and actually go through it. But, I mean, you'll be uh, for file link to actually get it up and running. Um, if, you, if you download, like if you have the APKs or things like that, it's less than five minutes. And then after you have that set up, all you do is just download the file linked application, and that's what you put on your phone, mm -hmm. um, or in emulators or things like that, in order to uh, to actually access all the files. That's just the front face, just like Plex. Right. So, I mean, it is not that hard, people. I just wanted to do it real quick because I was seeing some questions. Mm -hmm. um, Thank you, Judd. I appreciate you, man. And then, real quick, real quick, too, um, for that. For bad sky ABZ twenty three, um, Tiny Tunes Tiny Tunes has its own download system, so it's not going to download over to ABM. So when you go to go download music on on Tiny Tunes, just download it. You can go into your settings on you can go into your settings on Tiny Tunes, and then have Tiny Tunes. Whenever you download, you can have a download go to wherever you want it to go to, whether on your eternal. Uh, storage, whether you want to go to your SD um, folder, you can make a folder and have all your music go there. So um, to be honest with you, it's not going to go over to, to ADM because Tiny Tunes already have a direct space for it to go to. Mm -hmm. So eight, eight, so Tiny Tunes is not going to let you do it do it like that anyway. It's going to download onto, onto the device that it's on, whether it's your eternal or your SD card or wherever, whatever folder you want to put it into. All right. Yeah, ADM is going to be ADM is going to be like your um, IDM, or it's going to it's going to grab a link, or it's going to grab uh, a downloaded space where you want to download something from, and then you can put it into the ADM off of another off of another source, and you can download it from there. Um, uh, Time Tunes is on the, it has music and everything right there where you can download and put everything right there. So mm -hmm. two different two different things. So if you're trying to use the ADM to get music, you got to get music from somewhere else that doesn't have a downloaded source on it or a downloaded spot on there. Okay. Is, uh, is Brian in the chat? If you're in the chat, Brian, I, I didn't miss your question. I uh, want to make sure you're in the chat so I can, uh, we, can, we can all help you with it. If, uh, can you type a one if you're still in the chat? What was his question? Um, his question is, how uh, recent are the movies uh, for Plex? Recent. How recent are the movies for Plex? No. How recent for the movies for Plex is up to you. I mean, you act, is he asking as far as mine? I mean, because mine, I, I got new and old. I'm starting to put newer movies on there. But mm -hmm. most of the new movies, I don't really like putting the new movies on there until they're in, until they're in better quality. Okay. They're not good quality. I don't want them on my Plex. Mm -hmm. um, as far as that concern, the movies that you put on your Plex, Brian, are the ones that you want on there. Right. Um, new, old, and then it's up to you as far as what do you want to do with them as far as new and old is uh, concerned. Uh, some people don't want no old uh, old movies. Everybody want new movies. And if you want new movies, still, it's up to you as far as the quality is concerned. Right. 
I don't know if Doug would add on to that or not. No, that that's exactly it. The um as people will learn the two differences between like your Plex setups is when you have one that is a local um, and doing it the way Bo does where he, he actually sees them and searches and downloads them and stuff like that. It's a true manual way. The way I do mine with Ultra Seedbox and the applications I use on my Plex server on Ultra Seedbox is all automatic. So it's all renamed and proper videos are downloaded because they're, they're filtered. Um, like, you know, I don't get SDs, I don't get cams, I don't get, you know, things like that, There's, you know, because you can set strict guidelines. But yes, that just means that I may not have a movie as fast as somebody else if they're downloading a good HD cam or, or things like that. But uh, again, for the, for the uh, how recent, I mean, like on mine, uh, even though I'm just uh, getting started on downloading the movies, I have like Bumblebee and I have prospect and overlord and aquaman and things like that which are still in theaters mm -hmm. they got no right now they ain't, like aquaman i looked at aquaman today and it was a good quality yeah. so it's up to me if i want the the if i want to get it and then put it on my um plex you know but the quality that i saw today was real good but it's, at the end of the day it's still up to me if i want it right right what's up philip k hey cable day thank you for coming in man and it's like they said, it's, it's up to you what movie you want to put in. Like, example, I have a, um, a friend of mine. She really enjoys James Bond movies. So I went and got all the James Bond movies and just made it a separate <coughs> section where she can just click on and watch whatever she, anytime she wants to watch it. So it can be old or new. Um, my mom, she likes classic movies. She likes all the old classic movies from when she was a kid growing up. So I'm trying to find a bunch of classic movies. That way she can watch what she want to watch. So. Enjoy Plex because it's your content that you like or your family likes. And, it, and it, to me, it'd probably be a good replacement for APKs, being that APKs change every day, go up and down. Uh, APKs are trying to do things to sell you stuff. So start your own Plex. It's good. All right. Um, and then you, then you right. got to look at, too, with your Plex, guys. Your Plex is, is what you make it. Mm -hmm. It's because I like um, – it's because I like, like – Blossom, or I might get. I mean, you gotta think about it. When I got Blossom the other day, it wasn't for me; it was for somebody else. But my thing is, when you when you get something that you put in your put in your Plex, it's because you like that. I like Law and Order, so I want to get as many Law and Orders that I that I can, so I get it because I like that show. Somebody else might not like it, but at, at the end of the day, it's your Plex. Mm -hmm. What was Sel saying? We used to say about boxes. Now let's say about Plex. Make the plex yours. Yeah, make the plex yours. Well, the one thing you got, the, 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 not one thing, many, many of the things that we're going to go over is, is because uh, when people have plex, um, and if you happen to decide that you want to share your plex, you get into a few limitations. Like you can't share playlists, other people can't view your playlist. Right. Right. But if you like to have make playlists because it organizes, well, plex will create collections for you. So there's a few clicks that you can make. Example, J Mac, that James Bond. You can have them all downloaded. And if you have it it's set up in the movie section or even TV shows, but TV shows do it. They do it by seasons or the the episode or whatever they got. If you go into movies and there's a couple clicks and you and you refresh the database, it'll create a James Bond collection and have them in there automatically. It'll automatically do it. And collections is just another view. Like if uh, if you click movies and up at the top, you'll actually see where it says movies and beside it are either sorted by title or whatever they are. But if you click on movies, if you have it configured, you'll see collections. And I did that with mine because, you know, it created like uh, the Avengers and, and mm -hmm. things like that on its own. Um, but while we're talking about that is I actually am just going in right now to add James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> right now I'm doing that. Hey, like I need, I need that. Uh, or what Bo get SpongeBob for the? I got SpongeBob. What you talking about? I got SpongeBob. <laughs> Except for those scenes. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, True, tell me real quick. Are we good on time? Because I don't want to put heads with uh, nobody else's show. No, West Bank finished starting six. So. Six. Yeah. He doesn't want we good. We are good. I saw a question I think somebody asked, and I can't remember what I was going to say, but that's news. I don't have much to say. Let's see. Hmm. GoPro said, I've been getting all my 90s, 90s Wesley Snipes and Steven Seagal movies. That's what's up. 
Matter of fact, you just gave me a good idea. I yeah, see. Type movies. Well, it, and, and anybody who has a Plex, you know, anybody mentioned something. J-Mac mentioned James Bond. I just put James Bond in, and they're all listed there, so I'm adding them all. Mm -hmm. Steven Seagal, you type that in, and you get all the movies of Steven Seagal and start adding those. Bo mm -hmm. said SpongeBob and Blossom. Okay, let's get it done. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's like a, it just becomes an addiction and stuff like right. that. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Especially when you're trying to – then it becomes real good when you can't find a certain – TV show that everybody's looking for, so it's yeah. always a race to figure out who can find it. Mm -hmm. And then when they find it, where did you find it? At? Yeah, because who is it real? Our, uh, our sis, she found. I ain't gonna mention the shows because everybody going to go out and try to find them. But real found some shows that it's supposed to be impossible to find, and real good shows from back in the day. So if you want to get it real, and, and she can also tell you how to find some shows to help you um, put them in your plex as well. So Gail Lewis asks, when you do TV yep. shows, do you have to download each and every episode? Yep. If you were doing it manually, yes. Mm -hmm. unless, yep. you, and, unless you find something. Well, there, there are some trackers in there that, that, that RAR files, which you don't want to do, which is RAR is a, a, is a, um, a container, it, it basically. So just like, when, like a zip file or something like that, you can have multiple files in there. But if you're doing it one by one, like if you want those, you download each episode, yes. If you are running a Plex backend server, like the um, like uh, with Seedbox, examples that I have is I use Radar and uh, and Sonar, and those are for movies and TV shows. And for the TV shows, it's called Add a Series. And if I search Blossom, it gives me every Blossom series in one title, and I just click. And you can set, select, you want all the seasons? Do you just want ones that you don't already have or anything like that? You just click and it downloads it on its own. And again, on Thursday, <laughs> uh, we'll be going through all that. Mm -hmm. Thursday, because yeah. I, I'm getting picked up late from work, so I've decided to do a show. That's it. That's I got Dukes of Hazard, uh, Scott. Yeah. I got Dukes of Hazard. I got different strokes. I got I got both of those. Oh, we, got, we got a few minutes left. Um, Again, any anyone, anybody like Bo or um, Jug, I, th I know this question has been asked in a couple other shows. But there's always something said that you can download directly to Plex. Is there a way to do that directly to Plex? No. No? Okay. Plex, Plex, think of because it is actually, we're in the Cody world and we use the words like forks. Mm -hmm. Plex is a fork of Cody. One of the original creators of Cody left and created Plex. So you can't directly download to Cody because it's an application. Plex is just an application. It's just the pretty face that organizes everything. Mm -hmm. And then, um, real quick, GoPro Donnie, you said you're looking for Airwood. GoPro Donnie, I'm going to show you something real quick. Just oh. let you guys know how I get my shows. <laughs> so I'm in BTV right now. Justin I'm in BTV with me being in BTV, right? Go for Donnie. You said you're looking for Airwood. Okay, look, I'm gonna show you right here. I'm in BTV. You guys, I, you see Airwood, right? But then you see Airwood right here. Give you all the the seasons. I click season one. I click season one episode one. Once I'm clicking season one episode one, you see the links dropping down. Go for Donnie. With the links dropping down, go for Donnie. Watch this. All you gotta do is is click. I click the link. Once I click that link, it asks me. Click to my download manager. Remember, I have ADM on my phone. Once I click download manager, look, go for Donnie. Airwolf is now. I can start now downloading Airwolf. So it, it tells you Airwolf, like I told you up top, Airwolf, season one, episode one. Once I click start, I go down, I click, I hit my ADM, it's now giving me Airwolf. And look, see how much see how fast it is because I got my Wi-Fi on. And then all I gotta do is go to episode two. I go to I mean, go to episode two, episode three, because I can do three episodes at a time. I go to four, four, it'll pause, it'll be on pause until I put the fourth one on there. So if I want to, see, look, it's almost done. That episode is that episode right there is almost done. Once it's done, it's going to go over to the to the finish. 
and I, I have Elwood the first episode just that fast. It's been less than it is less than look. It's about to be done. That first episode is about to be done. Look, it's gone. I do the same thing. All I do is hit my thing, go back. I'm back into my BTV. I click back. I go to episode two. Now I'm on episode two. Episode two, gonna do the same thing. Look, drop it down links. I go get them. Now I got episode two. That easy, go for it, Donnie. I just added all the James Bonds. <laughs> <laughs> all of them. All of them. They're all downloading James Bond. Yeah, I got I got Night Rider too. Um oh, the new I got Night I got Night Rider as well. So hold on, I'm gonna show you my flex, my old school TV shows. I'm gonna go back to my old school TV shows. So you guys can see my old school TV shows. What do I have? So you guys can see I got a little bit of old school TV shows. So you see my screen? So I got 18. I got out. So you guys can see me and real, me real, and of course myself. We didn't do some work. So I got a team. I got out. I got all in the family. I got Benson. I got. Uh, I got to take this out of here. I take Bernie back out of here. But I got Bewitch. I got Blossom. I got Bonanza. I got Cheers. All eleven season of Cheers. I got Dallas. I, I got to take that out and put it back into the, in the new one. I got Dukes of Hazard. I got uh, Different World. Uh, I got Facts of Life, I got Fame, Family Matters, I got Fraser, uh, Fresh Prince, Friends, Gil Gilligan Island, The Golden Girls, Good Times, Happy Days, In Living Color, The Old School Incredible Hulk, uh, The Jimmy Fox Show, Good Times, King and the Cow, The Night Rider, y'all was asking me about, The uh, Kung Fu, which I know about Kung Fu, <laughs> Living Single, Married with Children. Separate and some words. Who? Severance. Yeah, Severance right here. There you go. Scrub, Seinfeld, Sister, Sister. Look, what y'all know about the Ropers? <laughs> you got Three's Company right there. Mm -hmm. You got Moesha. You got Meet the Browns. You got Martin right here. My kids and wife, Punky Brewster. You got the $6 million man. What y'all know about that? Oh, yeah. You got Wonder Woman. What's happening? Come on, man. So I'm looking for give me a break. MacGyver, I'm gonna get MacGyver. I did see MacGyver. I'm gonna get MacGyver as well. It's a couple of them that I'm looking for that I'm gonna get. It's uh yeah, Jug. It's, it's ADM, Jug. And yeah, then my yeah. IDM, my IDM is what I use on my the download on my on my PC. Yeah, IDM okay. for the PC. ADM is what you use for. ADM is what you guys use for your cell phones or tablets. Yeah, Android. Ooh, though. Kings and queens. I'm, I I got it. I I I I've been actually looking for. Uh, I got Kings and Queens. I just haven't down. I've been downloading shit. I found it though, Anthony. So I, I do have it. I am going. I am going to get Kings and Queens. Uh, get, um, I, I got MacGyver. I just ain't downloaded Brady Bunch. Um, I think Real got Brady Bunch. Right? I have Brady Bunch. We had it, but I don't know if we. I don't remember if Real have it or not. I'm gonna get. Give me a break uh, from Real. I don't. I'm gonna get that. Um, do you he says, do you save them on your phone or use OGG and they flash They go straight to my phone and then from my phone I transfer them over from my phone to my external drive. Right, right. So they go from my phone from my phone to my external drive. We're gonna get uh, one more question. Um, we're gonna get out of here because I'm gonna keep you on and I know there's another show probably coming on here in a few minutes. Um, I want to try to get back up to ESPN's question, and he said, uh, "What up, Bo and J Mac? I have a combo neck gear. Well, let me go. This chat is moving. I have a combo neck gear. Uh, getting 293 down and 14 up, and 220 down and 11 up. I know about the X6 router, but what modem is a, is good to work with Comcast and the X6 router together?" See, Bo, that is loud. Is that coming from you? Yeah, that's my grandbaby. Yeah, that's that's real loud. See, we need to work on your mic. You can hear everything she's doing. Uh, so, so someone already has an X6, and they they're wanting a modem. Oh man, yeah. The the Airy surfboard. Airy surfboard is good. Right? What is it? I think it's the sixty one thirty eight or sixty one thirty two or something. What is it? The Aries. Oh, yes, up, man. One ninety. Say hello. Say hello. What's up, man? Say hi to Jill. 
Say hello. Boom. No, you want to come say hello? <laughs> Remember, you got to look it up on your cable network, see if it supports it. If it's what? Check with your cable network and see if it supports it. Unless... Yeah. yeah, you need to see if it's, uh, if it's an OTA and... Uh... You, you need to see because and you, and you also have to make sure that the cable your cable company or your service provider will allow you to change out your uh, your modem. Some don't, like right. like here, Sastel, our service, they don't. We can't change it out. Right. Charmaine, yeah, I'm gonna uh, check my email tonight, and I'll be um, and I'm gonna look at it tonight. Yeah, real real have that that new um, real have that new show, neighbor. She has it. Mm -hmm. with, uh, with um with um ah uh, uh Cedric and Turner. Okay. All right, that's about two minutes or a minute to nine. Uh, we're gonna close out the show tonight. I do want to thank everybody for coming in. Uh, I know a lot of everybody knows Bo and everybody knows uh, Jug and Trooper. So if you guys go ahead and put a, a one in the chat. And just let the new people who may have come in, um, go ahead and let them uh, type one in and let them subscribe to your channel. These, um, these are my brothers up here and uh, 69, of course, true. Now, um, I want you to subscribe to their channels if you haven't already, and because they all have good information to give. Um, I will do again, I want to thank everybody for coming out. Uh, I do appreciate you coming to the show. I think it was a good show tonight, and we just want to keep growing with it. Uh, first, if I, I'm going to start with uh, Jug, if you can go ahead and let everybody know about you, uh, your show, and the next time you'll be on. Sure. For those who do not know who I am, I am Juggernaut from the Supreme Builds. I'm an admin over there. Um, you usually would see my name in blue with a oh. wrench. <laughs> um, but... Uh, uh, I put a one in the chat there, so uh, hover over that. Hit those three dots to the right. Check out my channel. Hey, we do lots of stuff over there. Like, I'm still relatively new, so, um, you know, uh, we're doing lots of things. Like, tomorrow, example, it is, is uh, at 6, 6.30 CST time, uh, Mrs. Juggernaut and I do our movie review, which we are doing hereditary. Uh, usually Thursday, I don't go on, uh, but I'm going on a little bit early, earlier, 5 o'clock CST time, because I'm doing a full um setup of plex with ultra seed box so all the way from getting your seed box uh accessing it uh, getting the application setting it up so when we're done the show you should be running you know plain and simple and it doesn't take that long so i mean people are definitely um encouraged to join but just keep in mind is is it's through ultra seed box only i'm not doing local setups i'm not doing any applications outside of the ones that are listed um, that could be a separate show because it can go on and on and on, which I already do because I'm long-winded. Um, but other than that, yeah, oh, uh, advice to people who have been asking and those uh, out there, um, yeah, 13 Clowns is a good add-on. Uh, is 18 ready? You can use it if you wish. A lot of builds don't work on it properly. Those who do um, are... Um, very tight, very good um, builds that are not running the things that are going wrong, like wizards um, and uh, and heavy coding. And 18.1 is already scheduled to come out if it hasn't already. So that just lets you know it was already for pre-release four days after 18 got released. So if my suggestion is, is find a good build that works, like uh, Trooper's build. Uh, I think Trooper, is yours uh, 18 ready? Um, Trooper, are you 18 ready? Um, uh, I'm still on 17. 18 is getting worked on. Yeah, so then, so just things like that, folks, uh, and check out other people's channels. We always mention things. Do your research, as, as we always say, but check out other channels. If it's not to your liking, then don't subscribe. Uh, if you like this one, please, for everybody that's in there, hit that thumbs up uh, in order to uh, show support to uh, Hustler TV because he needs it and they because he's brand new he wants to grow just like everybody else he's got lots of things that are going to be happening so i'm glad that i'm here with it so in that case and on that note the same old same old tomorrow is never guaranteed today is the only day you can live for make today uh, the best day of your life i guess do not make it that is you leave on a negative note if god decides to call you home because it can change at an instant 
So do me a favor, or I challenge you, is to pass it forward like I try to do. Be happy in what you do and love those that you love. You know? Thank love you, Jerry. People. My man Bo knows. I always call him the, the fire, fire, the triple fire man. Can you go ahead and introduce yourself and tell when you're on and about, about your show? My show is Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Y'all can see me live. I'm either going to be on this channel or I'm going to be on my own channel on Wednesdays. I will go live as well. Uh, I'm either be going to do an interview or I'll be doing either a cutting cord show. Either way, I'll be on Tuesdays and Wednesdays unless something pops up. Also, you can reach us on the DST Facebook group or DST Telegram group. Either way, if you join either group, make sure you have an icon and answer the questions if there are questions that need to be answered. Appreciate you guys for joining J-Mac on the show. I appreciate you guys. Also, the real. I don't know if you wanted to say something real or come on before we leave, or was you going to wait till tomorrow, real? I know you said you was going to wait, but um, if, not, if not, the real will be on tomorrow at 5.30 or 7.30 Central, 5.30 uh, uh, West Pacific, and then uh i believe it's nine west coast time i mean yeah, east coast time uh bo can you speak up nah man i ain't uh-uh y'all already said i'm too loud as it is uh-uh uh-uh so yeah, I think for the triple threat tomorrow eh bo yeah yeah, yeah yeah and then jug is also on tomorrow so tomorrow we is gonna be a, a triple threat show tomorrow um jug the real and hammer and then me uh and then on friday you have superdale back live on Friday. Uh, so uh, the DST is busy, guys. Um, okay, real says she's going to wait. So uh, again, appreciate you guys for showing J-Max some uh, support. Uh, come tomorrow, don't forget to bug and beat up Judd, Real, LJ, and myself as far as whatever questions you guys want to ask. Why? At the end of the day, y'all going to need it. So, ah! Me! That's and troop, troop, can you take us out, sir? Well, like I always say, thank y'all for coming. We'll see you on the next one. Like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you haven't. Check out our Telegram group. Check out the DST Facebook group. Make sure if you go in, make sure you have an icon. Answer the questions. If not, you will be booted. And it's going to be booted by me and a couple of other ones. <laughs> 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 but I just finished uh, my build. It's still on 17.6. I'm not going to release the 18 yet because it's not stable, but we'll check out the 17.6. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Right. Let me go in there. Hold Shona, on. Uh, Shona TV just put in the time that they'll be on tomorrow. So if you're on the chat, uh, he's on. they're on at 7.30 Central on the Darrell Hammer. Get ready for that show. Um, Shona, sure if you can put that in one more time. Or if a uh, trooper, if you can type that in for him, so that way everybody be aware. And please support all the DFT, support okay. my Jug, support my man Troop. We okay. all have to bring good, positive information to everybody so that we can all go together. Seven thirty. Hold on, let me see. He said my. He said it's not in my. He said it's not in there. I'm gonna look and see if it's in there. Okay. My. Uh, he said he don't see ADM in my filing story. I'm gonna make sure it's in there, but it, I know it's in there. I'm, I'm gonna put it in there. Thank you, Sean, my TV. Good night, Lobo. <laughs> uh, Gail said it was there. She just looked at it. She just looked at it. You said Ms. Gail said she found it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's in there. I wonder why I got it. Maybe it's in there because it got IDM mobile light right, right, right now. It's in there. Under, oh, wait a minute. IDM is in there. ADM should be in there as well. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good night. It, it, oh, I did yeah. see IBM. Okay. You straight? I'm gonna look. 
I see IDM. I don't see ADM on there. He might be running. All right, I'll put it in there right now. Okay. Wait a minute, let me make sure. All right, he's that he's gonna add it in there in his file link so y'all can go into his file link and get it. Um, I have it in my file link, and I believe uh LJ and Real has it in theirs too. You have it in yours, Joe? No. Okay. Let me add it. I'll add it. All right. So but, uh, you have ID and not ADM. I got it from New Tech. All right. All right, y'all have a good night. Thank you for coming out. And please keep coming out and support because with your support. I can only get better. We get better as a community. Have a good evening. All right. I'll add it right now, guys. I'll add it right now. Oh, she said it's at the bottom. Yeah, that's where I thought it was at. She said it's at the bottom. <laughs> go to Bo's channel and look at his description of the videos. You'll see his file link information. There you go. Good night, y'all. Peace.